basketball, attending prom, and graduating from high school. Those are just a few of the many things a Peru teenager has done lately. Yeah, but among all of those things, she's traveling to Indianapolis for treatments at Riley Hospital for a rare genetic condition. But this story is about hope perseverance and the teen's steadfast determination to push forward. Inside infusion room 17 at Riley Hospital for Children. I am just putting the flush on. The time ticks as 18 year old Riley Betcher receives her treatment. It's my normal. She has neurofibromatosis type 2, a genetic condition that causes tumors to form on the nervous system. So I have Three on my brain, I have four in this eye, and I have six on my spine. It's amazing how she says it like it's nothing. They said neurofibromatosis. I was like, huh? It sounded like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I was just, okay. I was like, whatever you say. It's impacted her ability to do many things, going from a triathlete to unable to play at all. For a while there, it was just bad news and bad news, more bad news. It's just too risky for her to play. Very rough at the beginning. It was like, hey. Like, I, I should be out there doing that. She's found ways to still be part of the team. Just one foot in front of the other. With optimism, she's doing what she can to just be a kid again. But she'll likely deal with this condition forever. Is not curable. I mean, it's a lifelong condition. Could be doing this for majority of my life, but I mean, it's that or more surgeries. And... NF2 is rare, affecting only about 1 in 25,000 people, Riley physicians say. What um, has been the challenge historically is there was not always therapy for the types of tumors and conditions, and that was very um, frustrating for us and very devastating for the families. I don't let them touch my right hand. Treatments are exactly oh, what Riley has been doing. And it's working. A new clinical trial at Riley Hospital for Children is keeping her tumors from growing like they once did. You gotta keep pushing with life. Pushing through life, no matter what curveball is thrown her way. But it hasn't always been easy. But I have moments. I, I let myself have the little moments here and there. Riley's had to have brain surgery to remove a tumor. But I knew in my mind what I needed to do. It's just my body wouldn't do it. That meant learning to walk again. Now, after my brain surgery and everything, I, I, I live my life like everybody else. Living her life like everybody else. Remember, one foot in front of the other. I want kids to be able to see that they can do it too. That means going on to become prom queen, graduating high school, and walking across the stage. Plus, planning for her future. Honestly, I just want them to be able to see. Like, see that I've gone through these three different chemos, two, two surgeries, and I'm, I'm still standing. I'm still doing my day-to-day. -day. And excelling at it, too. Briley's already completed her freshman year of college with credits earned in high school. You're okay. In Indianapolis. All right. Caitlin Kendall, Thanks, WRTV. Well, Briley hopes to become an elementary school teacher and work with special education children. And I know she can do it. Well, we have posted more information about NF2 and the treatment offered at Riley on our website, WRTV.com.